Hi, Jonathan Perkins here today, joining you back from the wheat fields outside of our Effingham facility, distribution center, and new PFR farm. So I am the PFR agronomist here and location lead. With me today is Joe Bolte. Joe's our PFR operator, so he's going to be talking to you a little bit about some of the uh, herbicide applications that we've made out here as well. So in the last video, you saw us out here making the Feeks 3 applications. That was when the wheat was just starting to break dormancy and get greened up at the Feeks 5 apps where we follow back in with that 80 pounds of nitrogen across most of the studies besides our nitrogen rate studies and timing studies. So we were back out doing that. Uh, the wheat was starting to get some vertical growth to it, which is normally when we see that Feeks 5 time frame when we see the stem elongation. Now you see below us today, uh, actually this wheat has a lot more vertical growth now, and we're approaching uh, into the flag leaf stage out here in most cases across our varieties. So we'll go into a little bit more detail on that later. Um, but Joe's going to talk with you a little bit first about those Harmony applications that we made uh, not quite a month ago now. So those were made back in March on the 22nd, and uh, the Fix 5 apps that we did were made on the 18th as well. So a little bit uh, close to a month ago now, yeah, Joe, on yeah. those applications. Go ahead. Yeah, so like Jonathan was saying, we made our Harmony applications at Fix 5. Um, we're targeting some common chickweed, horseweed, some shepherd's purse. And some of you may notice that, you know, when we make those applications early March, it took a while to actually start seeing symptomology with the group two, a ALS herbicide. First thing we'll notice is a stunning of growth. Um, I come out here and now since we're starting to get 70 degree weather, actually starting to notice a little bit more stunning of the growth, but also we're starting to get some yellow, some chlorotic material of the, of the growing point in some of these weeds. So as we look at these warmer temperatures, you know, typically we see seven to ten days showing symptomology. Now we're at three weeks, but I'm really looking forward this week seeing the symptomology to really ramp up on these weeds. Yeah, Joe, we had a little bit of cold weather after those applications, so yeah. it definitely took a while to show up this season. So when we talk about growth staging wheat, as we see the wheat below us, you know, we talked about being in the flag leaf stage of growth. So why is that important? Well, for one, it's important because that's when we need to shut down some of our herbicide applications, like the Harmony, for example. We can't be applying that into the flag leaf stage. So that's important. Uh, most of our herbicide applications are made prior to jointing, prior to that FEEK 6 stage, but it's more important for people considering fungicide applications at the flag leaf time frame to protect that flag. So we're going to go into a little bit more on how we can tell when that stage of growth is. All right, so when we grow stage wheat, we need to keep some things in mind. So first of all, there are main stems compared to tillers, and main stems are typically farther along. They'll usually be a little bit more robust in the stem, and we should see it being a little farther along up at the top. So this looks like it could be our flag leaf right here. Some key indicators we want to look for back down at the base of the plant is that we have two joints. So I find one joint here, and you can actually feel that with your hand, and you have one joint that's here. So if we have two joints, we know we're at least at FEEX 7. So FEEX 8 is when we have emergence of the flag leaf. So in order to test for this, we can use the sharp knife, and we can actually slice this starting from the base of the stem and work our way up to try to find the growing point. So sometimes it's a little tough to do because if you don't get right down the center, you may not be able to find the head and find that growing point in there. Now what we want to look for is we want to actually find, I did a good slice here, we want to find right here where we can actually see this wheat head and our growing point there. It's above that second joint. We've got a hollow space in between. So what we want to look for inside of here is look to see if there's another leaf that's curled up inside of the stem. And in this case, I don't see that. We don't see any more leaves that are still here to uncurl and come out the top. So that is our flag leaf emerged right there. So until next time, this has been Jonathan Perkins and Joe Bolte with Bex Hybrids reporting to you from the fields of Effingham, Illinois.